This is going to be a perfect day. I woke up late, had breakfast, went back to bed, woke up again, had breakfast. Yeah, a perfect day. And no one is going to ruin it. Hi, Garfield. Except, of course, Lucky. Goff, I was wondering if you could help me with a little problem. Oh. No. I have a whole bunch of fleas, and I can't get rid of them. Oh, well, you can keep them. Hey, uh, oh. you have nothing to worry about. They love huh? my fur, and they won't leave. Here, listen to them. Hmm. Oh, I love this cat. <laughs> Whoa, hey, that's funny. No, it isn't. Believe me. All right, all right. <laughs> Ah, let me see. I got it. You need to find an even better home for them. Oh, yeah, right. That's genius. It's very simple. We find a human who smells like cats and dogs. So where, pray tell, will we find a smelly place? In here. Ah, oh, the city pound? <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, this ain't gonna work. I tried it, and they'll just come right back to me. You and I just smell like cats. He smells like cats and dogs. Trust me, fleas prefer a buffet, so just keep dancing. Glad to do a favor for a friend. Hey, Garfield ah. the Wise, mm. could you let me out of here? Bruno! Uh, sure, <laughs> why not? <laughs> See you later, guys. <laughs> I've got a perfect day to get back to. <laughs> that Garfield, <laughs> he's one smart cat. Yeah, I saw how he solved your fleet <laughs> problem. Hey, do you think... <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you could help me with the little, uh, romantic problem I have? Hmm? Sure. Garfield can fix anything. <sighs> As I said before, no one is gonna ruin this perfect day. Mm. Except, of course, Odie. You want me to throw the stick so you can fetch it, boy? I was prepared for this. <laughs> Okay, put the stick in that bowl there. Good. Now fetch. We won't see him again until around, oh, season four. <sighs> now where was I? Oh yes, a perfect day calls for a perfect nap. So I'm just gonna kind of sob. Yo, coffee! <laughs> This day is getting less and less perfect, if you ask me. I was wondering if you could maybe, uh, help me with the little problem I have. No. Good. It's my girlfriend, Trixie. She broke up with me on account of she doesn't think I'm nice enough. Smart lady, that Trixie. Can you fix it so she thinks I'm real heroic? Are you gonna stick around and annoy me until I do? If that's what it takes. <gasps> this way. <laughs> That's her. That's Trixie over there. <laughs> you gotta convince her I'm a good guy. First, you gotta find someone to convince me. I'm convinced. Okay, what if she sees you help that little old lady across the street? Uh, I don't know how to do that. You don't know how to help Ow. a little old lady across the street? Here, I'll show you. Madame, may I lend you a paw? You're trying to steal my purse, you bad hey. Oh, lady, a cat is trying to steal her purse. Somebody, help her, somebody. I will help her. Bad cat, awful cat. What do you got?
get in that purse? Bowling balls or anvils? I will save you, madam. Bruno, you're such a hero. Oh, it was nothing. I just like to help folks. Good. Help me. I had you all wrong, Bruno. Uh, uh. Oh. You solved my problem, Garfield the Wise. Let me know if you ever need anything. An ambulance would be nice. <laughs> well, maybe I'll be all right. <laughs> Well, maybe not. Well, maybe I can enjoy the rest of this perfect day, but I doubt it. Ah, no one around. Let's see how long this nap lasts. Oh, three seconds, the new world's record. Don't tell me, let me guess. You have a problem. And you saw me solve Bruno's problem, so you figure Garfield the Wise can solve yours. <sighs> okay, what is it? <sighs> uh oh, looks like Harry's planning a bluebird lunch. <sighs> you wait here. Uh-huh. No, no, no. Oh, aha. There it is. John's leftover meatloaf. Here's something you may never see again. Food I won't eat. A little shaping here, a little there. A lot of people don't know it, but some of the greatest sculptors in history did their first work in meatloaf. Now we just need a little blue food coloring. Mm. <laughs> A masterpiece. <laughs> Looks like you missed, Harry. Yeah, but I'll catch one any day now. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. What did you say? Oh, nothing. Have you ever caught a bluebird in your entire life? Never, but I just know they taste delicious. Oh, well, they're not bad. You caught a bluebird! Hey, a cat's gotta oh. eat. Oh, Garfield, pal of mine, can I have a taste? Just give me one teensy weensy taste. <sighs> well. All my life I've dreamed of eating a bluebird. Please, Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> give me that last line again. Uh, sure. Uh, all my life, I've dreamed of eating a bluebird. Please, Garfield. <laughs> oh, okay. I will. All right. <laughs> Could I interest you in seconds? Uh, no. I don't want another bluebird. Not now. Not ever. Who would have thought they'd taste so lousy? They're almost as bad as that meatloaf his human makes. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. I don't think you'll have to worry about Harry anymore. Uh, now, I am finally going to have my perfect day nap. Uh, hey, Garfield. Huh? I ordered cheese three weeks ago and it hasn't arrived. And I <laughs> sent away for new glasses and they haven't shown up yet. My huh? owner is feeding me dog food that tastes like something in a rock garden. Huh? You're so hot in my coop. My eggs are coming out so boiled. Probably. Yeah, mine too. Oh, oh, my God. I'm gonna solve my problem and get out of here. I need to solve my problem. How to get away from all of their problems. Huh? I can 
solve your problems. Tell us. Tell us. How can you solve our problems, Garfield the Wise? Well, I won't solve them. I advise you to take them to Odie the Wiser. Solve my cheese problems, Odie the Wiser. I need new glasses, Odie the Wiser. About my dog food. Most of these folks could solve their own problems if they just tried instead of asking someone else. So finally, I have no problems, mine or anyone else's. Why don't you watch where you're going? Don't I have enough problems with these fleas that I can't... Hey, I'm not scratching. The fleas are gone! The fleas are gone! Gone? <laughs> Where'd they go? Uh-oh. I think I know where they went. <laughs> Poor cat. He needs to find someone to solve his problems. China. Yes, it is I, Bella Bellissima. This statuette is at least a thousand years old. This one is the key to the treasure of a... Uh, Sing Long. Say them and tie them. Keep an eye on them while I decide what to do with them. Give me my statue! They're, They're after on. us! First half of the key to the treasure of Sing Long is hidden in the ancient gardens of Suzhou. It says this is half of the medallion that serves as the key to the treasures of Futsenglong. The other half of the medallion is guarded by the old master of the temple on Mount Kingshan. And I will give it to you. You are going to have to learn Kung Fu. Yeah! Yeah! The key to the treasure of Futsenglong. <laughs> If you know where they went, you must tell me. I miss my dear pussycats and dog so much. Please tell me where I can find them. <laughs> okay, Baldo is not going to tell us. Let's get out of here. <laughs> there must be some way to find out where they went. <laughs> Ah, my precious babies. You're the only ones Mama can count on. What good are they? We have no idea where that boy in the pits are heading. Actually, Voldo, I think we do. Thanks for the ride. <laughs> wow. wow. Behold, my friends. The Great Wall of China. According to the map, the secret cave should be around here. I think the pup is finding something. It's an old bone that's been here a long time. Look, over there! Huh? This must be the entrance. It won't budge. Ahem. <laughs> oh, that's right. The key. No! Don't, don't do that! Ah! Ah! Pull me back up, please! John? 
Garfield, Odie, normal? Oh. <laughs> Help me find a treasure or you will never see your master in one piece again! Batman is your master? Well, he feeds us. We'll help you find the treasure. You have my word. So, what are we looking for exactly? The treasure of Fu Tsenglong. According to all Chinese legends, he is a ten-foot-long dragon that guards forbidden treasures. Uh, don't worry, Odie. Dragons don't exist. Hurry up! I want to make treasure. Except for her, of course. Huh? <gasps> don't just stand there. One of you go inside and see what happens. Oh, I'll go in. I'll come with you. See that beam of light? I wouldn't cut it if I were you. Oops, I hadn't noticed. Thanks. Oh, mangy vermin! Going next! Hey, I'm the three-time winner of the Kitten of the Year trophy. Let's get it over with. You too, pup. <laughs> Don't you think we should wait and see? They're almost on the other side. <laughs> what is this? Some kind of riddle? I'm not sure. There are different animals depicted on the wheel. An ox, a sheep, a rat. I'm guessing we need to find the right combination to get to the other side. Mangy vermin. Who does she think she is talking to me like that? Careful, Nermal. This floor may not be strong enough to support your ego. Let me just take a quick peek at myself to make sure everything's perfect. Oh. Oh. Someone cut the beam of light! Oh. Nermal, what have you done? Ah, I just looked at myself in the mirror. Ah. 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 We need to figure out how to get this door open and fast! Hurry up, you idiot! There's got to be some sort of logic. Uh, rat. Boar. Boar! That's my Chinese astrological sign. Of course. These are the 12 signs of the Chinese zodiac. We just have to put them back in order. Ah! Oh! Ding Bang had better do something in a hurry. Whoa. The rabbit goes between the tiger and dragon. What about the ox? Uh, before. No. After the rat. Oh, no! Where is that imbecile when you need him? The last one is the tiger. I think we've solved it. <laughs> this isn't fun. <laughs> the door's opening. Opening into the treasure of Fu Tseng Long. That's not a real dragon, Odie. It's just a big statue. One aside! Susie, I have a treasure to steal! So oh, I can afford to build a and I will sing in every one! What a ridiculous waste of money. Especially when you could be spending it all on donuts. Some of these artifacts are thousands of years old. They belong in a museum. <laughs> these statues look so lifelike. It almost looks as if they were real warriors turned to stone. Oh, the Eye of oh. the Dragon. It is the fabled diamond of Fu Tseng Long. <gasps> the diamond? That is what they must have! The biggest diamond the world has ever known! Voldo, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> come help me get that diamond! Yes, Miss Bella. Pass <laughs> me that big ugly vase! Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
onto the diamond. Stare not into the eye of Fu Long. It has defeated entire armies. That's what the old master told us. These statues, huh? that's an army. Do you think they were once treasure seekers? <laughs> Everyone, close your eyes, now! It's so beautiful. I can't. Oh. <laughs> and uh, take uh, my eyes off of the diamond. Are you okay, Miss Bella? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, we're alive. That's debatable. The vault is going to collapse any second. Let's get out of here. Run! I'm stuck. Somebody help! I think this would be an excellent time to get out of here! Come on, you can make it! I can't leave Miss Bella all by yourself! have shut for good now. <coughs> I know it is silly, but I cannot help feeling sorry for and her. those two Siamese cats, too. However rotten they were. Yeah, no one deserves to wind up like that. I don't even know how to thank you for taking good care of my pets. <clears throat> uh, dinner's a good start. <coughs> Odie, you got something stuck in your throat? Coins from inside the vault. Is there enough there for dinner? These are priceless. It is a national treasure and belongs in a Chinese museum where my people can enjoy it. All right. <laughs> well, the dim sum was great, but I hope I never go through anything like that again. <sighs> I'm gonna miss Ding Bang. He's a good kid, and China was a lot of fun. Oh, he's right. Except for the parts where people were trying to destroy us. Well, I'm still waiting for an apology. An apology? For what? For sending me there in a box. For abandoning me at the airport. For throwing me out a 50-story window. For pushing Nermal, me... Nermal, if it'll make you feel any better, I apologize. You... you do? How, Garfield? That's the first time you've ever done that. It almost makes up for the whole experience. Oh, I'm glad you feel that way, Nermal. Remind me when we get to the airport back home. I'll have a package I need to ship to Abu Dhabi. <laughs> There's something I've always wanted to tell you. You can't sing! <laughs> What did you just say about my singing? You're gonna regret this Volvo!
before you ship me to Abu Dhabi again? Nope. We're on our way to China. Soon. The golden cat shall be yours. This doesn't look like a golden cut to me! You want to sell it? Is that the idea? I cannot believe my eye. Where did you say you found it? I know it sounds crazy, but this cat and this dog gave it to me. I know this nutty opera singer from Europe who would pay well for this statue. How about I give you 10,000? 10,000? That sounds like serious dim sum money to me. This statuette is at least a thousand years old. Hmm? Sorry, but it is not for sale. Sorry we have wasted your time. Wait! Come back! How about 20,000? Come back! 30! Oh, please! Oh, please! I, I don't know anything! <laughs> Hello! Yes, it is I, Bella Bellissima. I know who has your golden cat, but the information will cost you. You shall have your money. Speak! Nope. Haven't seen either Garfield or Odie. They've been gone for 24 hours. That's 18 meals. And Normal's missing, too. Hello? Cats and a dog? You've seen them? Where exactly are you? Shanghai? Where's that? Oh, right, China. I knew that. Well, I'll come there and look around for them. Thanks. I shipped an overnight package from here to China yesterday. Well, that explains it, I guess. I'd better go get my car keys. <laughs> China! Do you know how much dim sum we could have bought with that cash? Enough to feed me for a month. A week! Do you know what my name Ding Bang means in China? Protect the country. This statue is at least a thousand years old. It is a national treasure and belongs in a Chinese museum where my people can enjoy it. Not in huh? the private collection of some greedy foreign art collector. Come on, mm. you can spend the night in my uncle's restaurant. And I am sure I can smuggle you another bowl of new... Hey, let go of me! You heard the pup. Take your paws off him or else... And you're killing, too. Ah! Oh, the golden cat! After yearning for it for so many years, it is finally mine! It belongs to the heritage of China. You will not get away with this. Don't be ridiculous. I've been dealing in stolen art objects and artifacts for years. That is how I made my fortune. But why do you have to have this one? Because this one is the key to the treasure of... Uh, ah, Baldo, what is the name that I can never remember again? Fu Tseng Long. Here, let me remind you for the tenth time. According to the ancient Chinese lore, Fu Tseng Long is the guardian of the hidden treasures. The golden cat statue can lead to the underground cave where Fu Tseng Long keeps his most valuable treasure. The biggest diamond of all times! The treasure of Fu Tseng Long is just a legend. My uncle used to tell it to me as a bedtime story. It is real! And when I get my hands on it, I will at last be rich enough to fulfill my greatest project. Voldo the slides. Behold! The Bella Bellissima Concert Hall with a giant statue of myself and 500,000 seats so that millions of people can come and listen to my unforgettable arias! <coughs> They wouldn't let her sing at the Metropolitan Opera. I wouldn't let her sing in a horror movie. Oh. Valdo, put them in the storage room with our other guests. Say them and tie them. Keep an eye on them while I decide what to do with them. Man, my luck is running so bad, the other guests will probably turn out to be normal. Oh. Oh. Garfield! Told you. <laughs> Cat, is that cute little kitten a friend of yours? <laughs> friend? We need to stop that crazy woman before she finds the treasure of Futsenglong. The treasure of what? 
Who's that? I'll explain later. Right now, we need to figure out how to get past those two Siamese sentries. Hmm. I have an idea. Okay, guys, huddle. Stop it, come on, start it. All right, Odie. It starts with you distracting them. Got it? <laughs> I never cared for ballet. Especially by dogs. Count of three. One, two, three. You guys are amazing. The legend says that the statue will lead one to the treasure. Yes. Have you found the map inside it? There's nothing in the statue. No map of any kind. Ah, oh, look again. It has to be there. <laughs> My statue! Give it back! The door is locked. I don't want my statue! Catch! Got it! Normal, oh. make yourself useful. <laughs> Sorry, pal. Follow me! At the window? But we're on the 50th floor! I want my statue! I guess we really don't have a choice. I'm not jumping out of any 50th story window! Give me my statue! Over there! Hang on tight! Yeah. Choose oh. very fast! Don't panic! Give giving me back my statue! They are after us! I am a smart cat. Where's that weird smell coming from? Why are you even looking at me? I'm a smart cat. What is that? A dead hedgehog? That is a Dorian. Oh. In China, we call it the king of fruits. A lot of people think it smells funny, but they are really good for your skin. With your smart cat, nothing will be fun. Really? But what do they do for fur? Good for your skin, huh? I think Bella could do with a beauty mask. <laughs> you missed me. The first one who hits the terrible singer wins. Oh, hey! I can't see. We got it! Well done, guys. Oh. What are you waiting for? Go after them. What do you want? Just shooting a video. I'm gonna put it up on the internet. I bet you millions of people see this. I am the greatest opera star, Bella Bellissima. Listen to the magnificence of my voice. I will come back in the morning and we will figure out what to do with the statue and with the three of you. <laughs> Good dreams, my friends. <gasps> Did you see that? The moonlight reflected into the eyes of the statue projects an image. A tiger head? What does that mean? And there is some writing too. First half of the key to the treasure of Fu Long is hidden in the ancient gardens of Suzhou. A treasure map? Oh, that's kind of exciting. <laughs> Suzhou is only 50 kilometers away. First thing in the morning, we need to go find that key. Get a good night's sleep. All I know is there's some place in Shanghai. Shanghai is the largest city in China. It has over 23 million people. Oh, I know. How am I ever going to find two cats and a dog in that- Two cats and a dog involved in a wild chase last night through the streets of Shanghai. This video hit the internet That's them. just hours ago- That's my two cats and a dog. I am the greatest opera star, Bella Bellissima. Oh. Listen to the magnificence of my voice. Those of you who are easily sickened may not want to hear this next part. Bella 
Bellissima? Maybe she knows where I can find Garfield, Odie, and Normal. The gardens of Suzhou were built to celebrate harmony between art, nature, and ideas. That's great. Where's the key to this treasure of who, whatever it is? <gasps> hey, don't these two cats look familiar? They look just huh? like our statue. There's a gap here. It looks like our statue belongs between them. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is happening. She looks that way. <laughs> Dog, you opened a secret compartment. Hmm? It says this is half of the medallion that serves as the key to the treasures of Futsenglong. <laughs> The other half of the medallion is guarded by the old master of the temple on Mount Kingshan. <gasps> Mount Kingshan? That is kind of far. Miles and miles away far? <laughs> no, do not worry. We are not going there on that tricycle. We will use something a little faster. <laughs> Thanks for the ride. You're welcome, Cousin Dingbang. <laughs> While you guys eat, I'm going to go to the market. Did I hear someone laughing? I made you pancakes. <laughs> Something is seriously wrong here. You can tell because I'm not eating. Oh. Odie, what's going on here? All right, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Here, either eat these or bury them in the backyard. Oh, no. Where's the boss? He's in his office, but we haven't finished the scene. Later. All right, everyone, take five. Now, behind this door is the studio where we film the Garfield Show. How many people here watch the Garfield Show? Show of hands? Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've seen that show. I like the dog, you know, the, the one with the tongue. Huh? One Whoa. side, no autograph. It's very simple, Garfield. We've given your show a laugh track. Laugh track? Oh, that's right. We do it in television all the time. We add in recorded laughter and applause. It makes the show seem, well, more deserving of... Laughter and applause. Isn't that cheating? Uh, we like to think of it as enhancing <laughs> reality. Allow me to demonstrate. Here's a comedian we recently had on one of our shows. <laughs> no, but I want to tell you. Hey, a man walks into a doctor's office. He says, hey, doc, it hurts when I do this. The doc turns to him and says, well, don't do that. <gasps> <laughs> Not too humorous, but watch what happens when we add the laugh track. Hey, a man walks into a doctor's office. He says, hey, doc, it hurts when I do this. The doc turns to him and says, well, don't do that. 
<laughs> Wouldn't it be easier just to make the show funny? Uh, let's get one thing straight, Garfield. If we don't tell you how to eat lasagna and annoy puppies, you don't tell us how to run a TV show, all right? <laughs> Let me introduce you to Rosie. Rosie? Rosie, right in here. Hello, Rosie. Hi, boss. Wait, here's some applause for you. Huh? And I believe you know our star, Garfield Cat. Garfield, here's some applause for you. <laughs> Oops, wrong button, sorry. Rosie adds in all the laughter, applause, and even sound effects for the show. I sure do. <laughs> <laughs> right, huh? <laughs> I don't approve of putting phony laughter and applause on my show. But if you do, make sure I get more of it than anyone else. The episode we're doing today, it wouldn't happen to have normal in it by any chance. Uh, let me see. Why, yes, normal is guest starring. Oh, I love normal. He's my absolute favorite. I guess I was kind of rude to that tour group when I passed them earlier. I'll make it up to them. I apologize, folks. Whip out your autograph books and any 8x10 glosses you carry around to me. I'll be glad to sign them. Now, the next stop on our tour is... Oh, look who's coming! Normal! <laughs> Sorry, my public. No autographs. Well, maybe one, or two, or thirty. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just love him on that show. He's that's on. my show. I'm sorry? The show Nermal's on? That's the Garfield show, and I'm Garfield. I'm the star of that show. Ah, uh, funny. I watch it all the time. I just don't recall seeing you on it. Ready to roll oh. again, GC? Get the dog and let's resume. I need Odie on the set. Oh, and there's a big slurp in this scene, so he's gonna need tongue makeup. Garfield Show Show 55, episode entitled Laugh in a Can. Take two. Hmm. Camera rolling. Action. Ah. Uh. Line. Something is seriously wrong here. You can tell because I'm not eating. Oh, right. Something is seriously wrong here. You can tell because I'm not eating. Huh? Oh. Hi, Odie. Ready for breakfast? <laughs> We'll have to wait until John gets back from the market. I'll be napping. <clears throat> Here comes normal scene. I'll give him a big entrance. <laughs> That's enough, Rosie. Well, look who's here. That's right, Garfield. It's me, Nermal, the most adorable feline on this planet. I can't take this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're beautiful. Not as beautiful as I am, of course, but beautiful in your own way. <laughs> this has got to stop. And I think I know how to make that happen. Hey, Rosie, the boss wants to see you right away. But I'm putting in laughs and applause on this episode. I'll handle that for you while you go see him. Oh, all right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now, since I seem to have the show to myself, I thought I'd sing a little song. 
right, all right, settle down, settle down. I don't have to sing. I could do a little dance number for you. Dance number, huh? Well then, you need a little music. A little slow, don't you think? of left-handed zombie pigeons attacking with ray blasters from the planet Tralfaz. Hey, why not? <laughs> left-handed zombie pigeons attacking with ray blasters from planet Tralfaz? I know that sound anywhere! Help! Help! Left-handed zombie pigeons attacking with ray blasters from planet Tralfaz! Help! Save my adorable self! What are you doing at my life machine? Channel Rosie, what are you doing leaving huh? your post? Oh, but I did. I mean, he said that you No excuses, no excuses. You're fired. Oh. And take that stupid machine with you. <laughs> After this, I don't want to see any more canned laughter in the Garfield show. <sighs> Ooh, guess I got you fired, huh? Oh, it's my fault. I wasn't doing my work properly. Now the question is, where do I find a new job? Huh? Rosie got fired. Aww. Odie, she got fired and it's all my fault. I tricked her into leaving her post. I may just know a good place for you in that machine. Good evening. This is the news at this hour. Unemployment is reaching new heights. The air we breathe is worse than it has ever been. And scientists say that the Earth is hurtling towards the sun. Now the news. There's something that needs laughter. Hey, Rosie, how about some applause to end this cartoon? <laughs> Coming right up. <laughs> Would you join me in a bow, Odie? Thank you. You're a beautiful recorded audience. Thank you. Thank you.
launch of the Concordia Space Shuttle. Ah, news. There must be something more important on. Something involving people getting dressed up as large chickens. Huh? <laughs> all right, all right. We'll watch this. Garfield, Odie, I need you to keep an eye on this ferret for me. Ferret? Aren't two mouths enough to feed, especially since one of them is mine? Liz is completely booked up at the vet clinic, so I agreed to watch over one of her patients here for a few days. She'd better not be contagious or too hungry. Depends. What's in it for me? I've just baked an extra large four cheese lasagna to make up for it. It's cooling off in the kitchen. Four cheese lasagna? <laughs> Trust, but verify. Congratulations, you have successfully bribed me into ferret sitting. I sell out so cheap. Oh, I'd better get going. I'll be back before dinner. The two astronauts should be boarding the space shuttle any minute now. Hey, guys, huh? I need to stretch my legs out for a bit. Zip it. We're trying to watch TV here. Just let me out for a bit. I'm a ferret. Ferrets need to exercise or else they'll cry. <laughs> <sighs> All right. All right, but don't mull any furniture. That's my job. Hi, this is John Arbuckle. Please leave me a message at the sound of the beep. Garfield, it's me. I forgot to mention. Don't let Mrs. Ferret out of her cage under any conditions. Liz put her on a strict diet and she'll eat anything. Now he tells us. Can you imagine how horrible it would be to be around an animal that will eat anything? Don't say it. The four cheese lasagna. Maybe we can stop her before she eats all four cheeses. You, you, you ate all the lasagna. What do you have to say for yourself? Yeah, that's what I usually say. Oh well, when John gets home, he'll make us another one, and another one, and another one. Huh? Hi, this is John Arbuckle. Please leave me a message at the sound of the beep. Hey guys, bad news. Oh, my car broke down. I'm afraid I have to stay over at a motel for the night. What? Aren't you glad I had time to bake you the lasagna? Just imagine if you had been left alone starving for an entire day. <laughs> The refrigerator. Let's see what's in there. Ah! You ate everything in the refrigerator except the ice cube tray and the light bulb. Uh huh. <laughs> Saving those for dessert. So what are you two oh. going to eat? Oh, I'll find something in John's cookbook here. Roast ferret, ferret stew. Hey, Odie, you in the mood for Chinese food? Here's a recipe for ferret chow mein. Uh, uh -oh. If you will excuse me, I, I have to go lock myself in the cage. There's got to be something edible in this house. John always keeps one can around in case of an emergency. Quick, where's the can opener? <laughs> you want to give it a try? <laughs> Odie, you're too dumb to open this can. Just watch and learn. <laughs> Fine. I'll just have to use the electric can opener. No, you can't try now. It'll take more than a stupid piece of metal to stop me from eating the food that's inside this can. for the 1,000th time, I do not need your help. Just open up you pesky piece of metal.
Pedro! You cannot help! Let's run through this one last time. Ready? One, two, three! <laughs> <laughs> You, but I'm getting really, really, really hungry. This is all your fault. Hey, Odie, have you ever noticed how much a ferret looks like a hot dog? What are you looking at me like that for? What is it? Why do you have that mustard and relish look in your eyes? I have to warn you, ferrets taste terrible. We all taste like asparagus. Mm, I like asparagus. Did I say asparagus? Grr. I meant tofu! <laughs> Stale, dry, tofu! I like tofu Since this launch with salt. has been postponed for a huh? few hours huh? because of an huh? incoming storm. But huh? this should pass, and we will launch later this huh? afternoon. Brody, I think I have a new idea. Once a lightning bolt strikes, it will not only open the can, but it will also heat up the food. That is pure genius. You think you're gonna win, don't you? But you won't. You will never defeat me. Really hate canned food. whenever he hears me open a can of his favorite delicious cat food. <laughs> Oops, you don't want to watch that. The storm seems to be passing. <laughs> yes, it looks like we should be able to launch the space shuttle in approximately 30 minutes. Come on, I know how to get this can open. <laughs> We didn't have time to go to the restroom. Wait, if we're down here, then who's up there? Good thing we kept those spacers. <laughs> okay, Ken. You thought you were indestructible, didn't you? Well, let's see how you'll survive a fall straight down to Earth. <laughs> oh, no! My new hybrid flying saucer! Take this, you wretched space garbage! <laughs> Hey, go pick on someone else's can of food. By the seven rings of Arcturus, this mysterious object is resisting my disintegrating anti-molecular magma beam. <laughs> <laughs>
Phew! That was hairy. Huh? Oh. Ah! <sighs> <sighs> Defeated by a can of cat food. Oh, the shame. Oh, the humiliation. All right, all right. After all that, you want to see if you can open it? Well, be my guest. <laughs> Meow. Odie, before I say or do something I'm going to regret, I'm going to do something drastic. Huh? I'm, I'm going to end this cartoon. You guys just love it when we come up here to the farm and stay with my brother. I want to go home. There's the sun, the air, the great outdoors. I want to go home. What more could anyone want? TV, oh. pizza delivery, air conditioning, an internet connection, my own bed, and not being woken up at 5 a.m. by a stupid rooster. I want to go home. <laughs> I just wish Doc Boy didn't work so hard. Don't call me Doc Boy. You know what he needs? A companion. You know what I need? To go home. But I think you're working too hard. You're low too much. Doc Boy always works like that. Have I mentioned that I want to go home? I want to go home. Look, Garfield, I know you're bored. Here, take my cell phone. There are plenty of games on there and you can access the internet. Maybe it'll keep you busy. I want to go home. Don't you ever do anything but chores? Not now, John. Can't you see I'm busy? I was trying to say that maybe you need a woman in your life. I don't have time for a woman in my life. I have a farm to run. Care for an omelet? <laughs> you should have someone at your side. Someone to share the pleasures and trials of life. <laughs> Where will I find someone? I work from dawn till dusk and I live in the middle of nowhere. <gasps> pizza? Gloria, you usually deliver packages. And I didn't order any pizzas. No, but I have a strange hunch who did. Garfield, did you use my cell phone to order those from Vito's? Yes, and I still want to go home. So, how are you, Mr. Arbuckle? Busy. I have to slop hogs. Say, have you seen that new monster movie at the drive-in? It's still playing if you have it. Oh. Watch this. He'll blow it. I don't have time for monster movies. I have corn to pick. I told you. Oh. You want the crust? Mm. Too bad there aren't gonna be any. <laughs> Here, I was kidding. By the way, I still want to go home. I'm telling you, she's interested in you. Oh. She's the rush around express driver. She's interested in picking up packages and delivering packages. It's not natural to live your life alone. Life is meant to be shared. 
You know what the three most wonderful words are in the entire world? Let's go home. John, could we discuss this after I plow the North 40? <gasps> Garfield, we need to pack. Oh, we're packed. I don't want to stay here and watch my brother spend his life picking apples alone. Hello? John, it's your brother. Sorry to wake you up at this hour. When you were here, you said something about the three most wonderful words in the world. But you didn't say what the words were. I love you. Well, I love you too, John. But what are the three words? Ah, I get it. Talk to you in the morning. <sighs> I love you. Yeah, that might be nice to hear once in a while. I'll get it. Of course you will. Oh, Dog Boy. I thought about what you said. You're right. I need a woman in my life. <laughs> Excellent. And the best place to find one is in the city. I had my friend Elmer drop me off, and he's going to be watching my farm for me. I'm going to stay with you until I find the love of my life. Yo, and, <laughs> and don't, don't call, call you Doc, Doc Boy. Boy. Right. He said that as long as he's staying with us, he insists on cooking. Here you go, a nice healthy farm dish. Dandelion and wheatgrass soup. <laughs> ah. To grow proper rutabagas, you need well-prepared soil in a sheltered area with full sun. That's good to know. You don't mind me watching my farm programs, do you? <sighs> no. Good, because there's a five-hour special on later about different kinds Ow. of shops. <laughs> We have to help that man meet someone so we can get Doc Boy out of here. <sighs> See you later, John. I'm going to town. <laughs> Hi there. Gee, I seem to have lost my Nobel Peace Prize somewhere around here. Oh, no. He's just gonna walk up to strangers and try to strike up a conversation? Huh? You're asking what could happen? Oh, well, I have several more at home. Say, I was wondering if... <laughs> <laughs> that. You can't just approach strangers like that, it's rude. Oh, wait. This is promising. He's figuring out that there may be something wrong with that just fell off the tractor look. <laughs> He's going in to buy himself a new outfit. Odie, this is great. <laughs> hey, that's not a bad outfit if you want to look like Binky the Clown. Anyone out there remember Binky? Yeah, I didn't think so. 7 foot tall lady wrestler age 70 who plays the bagpipes seeking male any age who enjoys watching bread ghost tale hmm, not for me excuse me miss may i hold your fine dog for you while you tie your shoelace why that would be very nice of you here Keep a good grip on him. He gets very upset if he sees a cat. Hey, she's actually talking to him. Oh, that's a good sign. Down, boy. 
mustn't chomp the kitty. <laughs> Give me that. Hey, wait. Would you like to go out with me sometime? <sighs> Hi, Garfield. I'm not doing so well with women. I need a magic potion that will make them like me. <sighs> ay, ay, ay. This guy doesn't get it. There are no magic potions. It's just a matter of people liking each other. Hey. Huh? Try Philippe's cologne. Makes men irresistible to women. Sounds like just what I need. <laughs> that kind of thing never. One whiff of this, and the ladies will love me. What is that wonderful smell? Is it you? It's it's you. What is that fragrance? Oh, you smell so divine! Ladies, please, I'm from the farm. Don't get too excited. Huh? He's running away! Please, ladies, I'm outnumbered. There you are, you wonderful smelling creature. You're mine, all mine. Yes, I'm yours, all yours. Let's go out to dinner some night. Where would you like to go? Anywhere that I can smell you. Oh, Henry. What are you doing with my girlfriend? <laughs> I'm really sorry you couldn't find your soulmate, Doc Boy. Maybe you need to give it more than one day. Huh, or maybe I'm just meant to be alone. And don't call me, you know. Gloria, what brings you here? I didn't call for a pickup. We have a date, remember? A date? Yes, you send me these gorgeous flowers with the nurse's card. Dear Gloria, please accept these modest flowers. Would you go out with me tonight to see that monster movie at the drive-in? Oh, I thought you'd never ask me. But, but I, I, well, I... Garfield, huh? did you use my cell phone to order flowers for Gloria and compose that cheesy invite? <laughs> nice work. You see, Odie? You don't have to go out and find happiness. You just have to be willing to let it find you. Whoa, that was deep, wasn't it? Oh, Garfield, almost uh, forgot. Here's your delivery. <laughs> And, of course, there are other ways of finding happiness. you, Odie. Garfield's in a bad mood today. Well, worse than usual. Oh, for one thing, it's Monday. As you know, there's nothing that scares Garfield more than a Monday. <sighs> please don't let today be Monday. Please don't let today be Monday. Please, 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 please don't let today be Monday. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
And then what followed was bad even by Monday standards. He had something planned. Some new way to torment the mailman. He'd been looking forward to it all morning. But then, when the mailman arrived, Herman the mailman had come up with a method of Garfield-proof mail delivery. You won't get me this time, cat. The mail got delivered and there was nothing he could do. Then, things got worse. He went to Vito's for pizza. No, no more pizzas for you. Not until I am paid for the last 7,432 you have eaten here. And when he got back, he got maybe the worst news of all. Normal had come for a visit. A long visit. And now, here comes the worst part. I have to tell him he's gaining weight, and I'm putting him on a diet. I know. If you think those other things upset him, wait till you see his reaction to this news. But it has to be done, so I know you won't like it, but I'm putting you on a strict diet, and that's final. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> doing. He brought some junk from the city dump or somewhere and he's been in the garage for an hour building something. He just... Oh, wait. Oh. He's built some sort of invention or something. I have no idea what it does. And I'm worried. Garfield has some sort of machine there. I wonder what it does. Whatever it is, it can't be good for me. Oh, Pussycato. What is that machine he has there? What could he possibly do? I have a very bad feeling about this. Uh-oh. What is that thing? Why am I not gonna like what it does? Hmm. That machine of his, it's gotta have something to do with my new tank. Some way of tormenting me in spite of it. I can only imagine what he's gonna do next time I show up in that tank. <laughs> If it can do that, it's the most fiendish contraption he's ever devised. I have to stop him before he uses it on me. Vito, where's that pizza we ordered? Uh, coming right up, senor. <sighs> what could that machine possibly do? I have learned to never underestimate that pussy gatto. Maybe, maybe it will make uh, the pizza and the, not just any pizza, but pizza up to the Garfield standards. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Uh. What kind of pizza would you like to make today? Thin crust or thick? What do I want to do today? Let's see. You have selected thin crust. Would you like small, medium, or large? <laughs> you have selected extra, extra, super, <laughs> jumbo, large. 
Would you like extra cheese? Yes. Extra sauce? Yes. Pepperoni? Yes. Sausage? Yes. Anchovies? No. Meatballs? Yes. A side of pasta? Yes. A side of cheeseburgers? Yes. Some Chinese food? Yes. Thank you. Your pizza will be ready <laughs> in 15 seconds. <laughs> no. That takes too long. Mm. Oh man, I gotta speed this thing up. <laughs> Pizza at 1,000 degrees. Your pizza is done. Um, the greatest scientific breakthrough of this or any other century. <laughs> I, I am unnecessary. And I'm coming to you live from the hottest new pizzeria in town. It's called Garfield's. People have been coming from around the world for Garfield's pizza. Some, it is said, have been waiting in line since early August. <laughs> and two words, delicious! This is the best pizza ever made anywhere. No, it's ever made anywhere. Oh, please. You come in. You have a slice. <laughs> I'm ruined. I haven't sold the pizza since Garfield went into business. Now, I am out of a business. Out of my way. I've got to get to Garfield. No, stop. Hold on to the pizza. It was just my imagination, but it could happen. I must make certain it does not happen. Oh, I'm really worried, Odie. You've got to tell me what Garfield's machine does. Oh. But then, <laughs> what can he do to me? Mail me to Abu Dhabi? He's already done that to me 73 times. Oh, oh right, 74. But what if he doesn't send me to Abu Dhabi? What if he sends me to some place worse than that? Don't do this, Garfield! Whatever it is you're gonna do, don't do it! Will you please calm down? You'll like Alpha Centauri. Alpha Centauri? You're gonna put me in a rocket? Well, how else am I gonna get you there? Oh, no! No, 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 no! I'm the cutest kid in this world, and I want to stay in this world! <laughs> ah! Well, I didn't want to have to do this the hard way, but he's forced me. Here we go! Hey, watch where you're walking. <laughs> you find me in here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you wouldn't dare shoot me in outer space, Garfield! Oh, I wouldn't, would I? Well, watch this. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven. <sighs> I can't wait that long. Blaster! <laughs> Explain now, Odie. I have to stop Garfield from sending me in outer space. Uh, I'm leaving, Garfield. Uh, I'm huh? leaving. Ooh, I like the sound of that. I'm not staying for months. I'm <laughs> gonna go home. Uh, bye bye. Wow, he left fast. I got rid of the tank, Garfield. Huh? You don't have to use this machine on me. You don't even have to fling me into the mud hole. Look, I'll do it for you. See? <laughs> How I love to wind up in a good mud hole. <laughs> huh? <Whoa>. Garfield! <laughs> Vito is so sorry he kicked you out of his restaurant this morning. Here, have pizzas. Lots and lots of pizzas. Just don't start making them yourself, okay, please? <laughs> Garfield! I was worried about what your machine here does. Uh, I mean, I was worried about your health, and I was thinking maybe you don't need to diet. <laughs> and I see you've already come to the same conclusion. <gasps> okay, pay no attention to what I said. I never do. Mm. 
<laughs> huh? What's that, boy? You want to know what my machine really does? This machine does the same thing I'm going to do for the rest of the day. Absolutely nothing. Hmm, you know, I could even get to like Mondays. Tarantula hair, a spoonful of moldy peanut butter. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> hello. I'm Mrs. Cauldron, your friendly neighborhood old lady, who might be a witch. Never more! Quiet! I have a story to tell. So, here it is, and I'm not saying it's true. But I'm not saying it isn't either. <laughs> it happened one day as I was flying home on my brand new Class 13 vacuum cleaner with full options, including parking sensors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this would be great. <laughs> This is the bungee cord John used the one time he went bungee jumping. Not a successful activity. Bodie, wake up. You want to fetch the stick? Then go fetch the stick. I like Garfield, but there are times when he just goes too far. <laughs> Hello, Odie. Now, you know why Garfield can do things like that to you, don't you? <laughs> because you're not that smart, and if you were that smart, you know that's the reason. <laughs> Would you like to be smarter? A lot smarter? Okay, I'm not sure you'll like it, but here goes. <laughs> Odie always had a good heart, but suddenly he had a good brain to go with it. <laughs> oh, that was great. Huh. I wonder why the bungee cord causes someone to bounce around like that. Actually, it's all due to Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Oh, interesting. Thanks, Odie. Don't mention it. <sighs> Newton's third law of motion. I should have known. <laughs> Odie, you said something. Not only that, but it was something, you know, like... Intelligent. Ah, huh. well, maybe I just never had anything to say before. Ugh. It was also a new experience for Odie, being able to do things he'd never done before. There you go. I changed the filter, tightened all the belts, and updated the software on your global positioning system. Well, thank you, Odie. I do hope you enjoy being intelligent. Of course. I can read and write and solve problems and fix things. Well, I just hope you keep feeling that way. Uh, one last thing, Odie. You can't tell anyone that I magically turned you into a genius or it will undo the spell. You'll immediately become like you were before. I'm smart now. I'm not dumb enough to let that happen. Good. See you around. Thanks again. 
Uh, for a while at least. I guess it was a good thing. Oh, I don't have time to play, Odie. I have to get my taxes done and it's just impossible. Oh, I need some coffee. I'm going to be up all night. Let's see, a form 2030 itemized deduction. What's he talking about? This is a breeze. He never said anything before. I've kicked him off the table 7,000 times. He never said a word except you. Mm. I'm going to be up all night doing my taxes, Garfield. Mm. <gasps> Bodie, what are you doing in my chair? <sighs> you did my taxes? Yes, and I got you a refund. He looks perfectly normal to me, John, um, except that he's suddenly become a genius. Huh? I gave him an intelligence Ooh. test, and, well, let's just say he's twice as smart as we are. Twice as smart as either of us? No, twice as smart as you and I put together. If you'll excuse me, I have a sick pussycat that needs attention. What? Huh? It appears you've been eating too much mixed grill. Try switching to a low-sodium salmon mm. cap food. John couldn't believe how smart his dog was. He shot videos of Odie and put them on the internet. Ooh. Before long, Odie was famous. The smartest dog in the world. That's what they're calling him since his online videos have had 50 million hits. My Odie? On Monday, he became the world champion of chess. <laughs> Oh, oh, I can't believe it. I just got checkmate by a dog. <laughs> on Tuesday, he went on a game show. Cody, for a small fortune, when they built the Great Wall of China, who was the foreman? You've written Chin Lu Hao. That is correct. That's absolutely correct. You win the small fortune. Odie promptly donated the entire small fortune to a worthy charity. I thought he was supposed to be smart. And perhaps most impressive, he figured out how to set up one of those beach chairs no one can ever figure out. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, I've been trying for 22 years to understand how to open that chair. In just a few short days, everyone around the world has become excited about Odie. This is your gossip reporter, Brandon Scoops, signing off. <sighs> You're just jealous because Odie's getting all this fame and attention. Oh, great. Now I have a smart mouse, too. And someone inside the world wasn't too happy, either. He was Emperor Glorm, ruler of the kingdom at the center of the earth. I've been trying for 22 years to understand Emperor how to open Glorm, that chair. Emperor Glorm, do you think that dog is really as smart as they say? Hmm. Smarter! And that worries me, my loyal sloth people. That canine is smart enough to lead the surface people to conquer us! <laughs> of course, if we captured him, he could tell us how to conquer the surface people! I'm sorry, my dog can't help you. Everybody wants Odie to solve their problems! Odie! Do you think you can solve mine? I'll try. What is it? I have a lousy part in this episode. <laughs> I think I can solve your problem and my own by getting out of this house. Where are you gonna go? I don't know. Huh? So, Oli made a hasty exit, leaving Garfield to deal with the mobs of people outside. I know how to handle this. Please, people, I'm telling you, my dog can't solve all your problems. No, but your cat can. Yes, it's me, Garfield Cat. I'm here to share my colossal brain with you all. Ask me anything. I want to talk to the dog. I want to talk to the dog. Yeah, I'm going to bed until this episode is over. Meanwhile, Odie was trying to figure out the one thing he didn't know. Why being so smart was more trouble than being stupid. Hey, Odie, can you tell me how to run my comic book shop so I can make more money? Hey, Odie, can you tell me a good way I can catch a dog? Like, say, you? Hey, Odie, 
Will you do my homework for me? Everywhere he went, somebody wanted something. But finally, he was alone. <sighs> or so he thought. Hey, let me go! Unhand me! So... This is the smartest dog in the world. <clears throat> well, smart dog, I trust you are smart enough to know that your survival depends on you helping me to conquer the surface world. Why me? What do you want with me? You have knowledge. Knowledge is power. And I want power. Tell me, dog, how did you get to be so smart? Odie tried to think, but all he could think about was how life was so much easier before he got to be so smart. And then he remembered something he'd heard. You can't tell anyone that I magically turned you into a genius or it will undo the spell. You'll immediately become like you were before. I said, how did you get to be so smart? Well... A little old witch named Mrs. Cauldron cast a spell on me. This? This is the smartest creature on this planet? Use the cerebral gauge. Measure his brain power. No discernible intelligence. We might as well return to our world below. That's really all there is to the story, I guess. Hey, Odie, can you answer a question for me? <laughs> he went home dumb but happy. And he stayed that way. <laughs> so, here it is. And I'm not saying it's true, but I'm not saying it isn't either. <laughs> and best of all, I got my show back. Sure, boy. Just a perfect afternoon, Odie. John's away. The weather's fine. I have a lemonade and a medium-sized sandwich, and I can just lie here and do something I really enjoy. Watch someone else exercise. One, two, one, two, feet apart. One, two, faster men. One, two, one, Couldn't two. Couldn't we take a break, miss? Like until next August? Stop goofing off, Squeak. Now drop and give me 20. <laughs> <laughs> you could go a little easier on them, Biff. I've got to get them in shape so they can protect themselves, Emily. What if a cat came into the yard? Oh, there is a cat in the yard. I don't mean Garfield. Garfield's our friend. <laughs> Oh, I don't mean Garfield either. I mean him. This is fun to watch, too. Okay, Biff, it's showtime. <laughs> Oh, 
What have we here? Hey, Mouse, aren't you afraid of me? Nice going, Piff. We probably won't see Bruno again until this episode's in reruns in a few months. And now to celebrate your impressive feat, I think I'll go eat something. Oh, Biff, you're the greatest. Yeah, the greatest. I don't know what we'd do without you around. Probably have to count on Garfield to protect us. That overweight, huh? out-of-shape cat? Oh. Me? Exercise? I think you need to give your brain a workout. You need to get fit, Cat, huh? and I'm gonna see that you do. <laughs> There's ice cream in that refrigerator. Uh, you saw what I did to that other cat. Huh? <laughs> Who needs ice cream? It's only delicious and wonderful. I'll have 20 cookies instead. <laughs> uh, oh. No cookies either. You're gonna exercise. Come on! Hey, all right, all right. Hey, I'll hey, exercise. Hey, 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 <laughs> Running is the best way to lose fat. Keep your pace and your heartbeat up, and you'll keep your weight down. <laughs> After we run a few miles, we'll do about an hour of push-ups. Then there's weight training and gymnastics and aerobics. And I know you're not happy about not eating, so we'll reward you with a snack. Half a radish. You're too generous. Mm. And then more aerobics and chin ups, and then. Oh! Oh! Uh. Uh. Huh? Twice as hard! Now you have to work out! Fat cat! I don't know how much of this good health I can survive. Squeak, doesn't that friend of yours know the joys of fattening food? Well, only when he's miserable. Miserable? Like I am now? Yeah, when he gets depressed, he eats like you do. More even. I saw it once when he broke up with his girlfriend, Emily. Hmm. You could go a little easier on Garfield. He's flabby. He's unfit. He calls for drastic measures. Biff, you're so wonderful most of the time. Give him a little rest and let him have some of his lasagna. They're having a fight. Let's see if I can make it worse. No, Garfield will exercise. I'm helping, not hurting him. <coughs> I'm ready for more exercise, Biff. <coughs> oh, look what you're doing to him. Can I do my sit-ups in the hospital bed? Oh. But Emily! I'm going to go find some other house to live under. <coughs> See, she left you. How does that make you feel, Bifford? Hungry. <laughs> I think I'll spend the evening staring mindlessly at the TV and eating unhealthy food. <sighs> hey, Bifford, want to get out of my chair and do a few laps around the block? Uh, no. Huh? <laughs> Emily. So I got out of having to exercise, but now I have an even bigger problem. Biff is in my chair. 
and he's eaten every scrap of food in the house. That is my job. Ugh, I'm just waiting for something else to go wrong. <laughs> Sounds like that's it. Oh, no! Oh, no, oh, no, Bruno, he's back! Oh, and I must have you. <laughs> and you look delicious. <laughs> Bruno, you put those mice down and get out of this yard right now. Who's gonna make me? Someone other than me. It's no use, dog. You won't stop me. Biff, you're needed. Bruno's back and he's grabbing up all the mice. Come on. Uh, well, I'll do what I can. Hurry! I am hurrying! I've had about enough of this! I think I'll barbecue tonight. <laughs> oh, my friend! The only one who can save them is Biff! Biff's useless. You know how he's acting? No, how is he acting? A lot like me. The only way to get him back is to reunite him with his lady friend. Emily? She moved to under some other house somewhere. Cody, put that damp nose of yours to work. Find Emily the mouse. Think you found your boy? <laughs> oh, oh, it's you, Garfield. I thought it was that big nasty cat. That big nasty cat's about to barbecue all your friends. This is awful. Can't Biff do something? Biff's not Biff since you left. He really misses you. Don't you miss him? Well, sort of. Sort of means you do. Come on, there's not much time. <sighs> You gotta snap out of it, Biff. Our pals are in terrible danger. <sighs> what can I do? I'm fat and out of shape. I, I'm just no good. I am... Biff! Uh, Emily! <laughs> hey, the big reunion scene can wait. We have mice to save. Biff, you look so, so... Like me. But now that I got you back, I can go get me back. Wait here. Huh? Biff, I can't believe you got your own physique back so quick. <laughs> yeah, it only took one 15 second montage sequence. Where is this place Bruno hangs out? Down here, by the railroad tracks. <laughs> Charcoal's almost ready. <laughs> Garfield, do something! All right, I have one of my typically brilliant plans. Odie, you'll run to the other side and distract Bruno. Squeak, Ow. you stay here and bang on a drum. I'll disguise myself as a potato farmer and... I have a better idea! I'm sorry I worked you so hard. Oh, that's okay. I'm gonna take your advice, Biff. I'm gonna start a new exercise program. Hey, Squeak, will you help me with it? Uh, hey, uh, sure. Uh, whatever it is. One, two, three, four. 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You call eating lasagna exercise? Sure. I'm using a very heavy fork. Squeak. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Some of us have to eat out of these things. Oh, sorry, Harry. <laughs> Garfield threw me in there because he's so jealous of me. <sighs> not that I blame him. Garfield's not jealous of you. Look at this. Somebody threw away a perfectly good six-week-old tuna sandwich. <laughs> How could he not be jealous? I'm cute. I'm beloved. I have everything. <laughs> you don't have your own show. What? Garfield has his own show. We're on it right now, see? People are watching us. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hiya, folks. Everyone watches it. You can hear it coming out of almost every house. The little girl who lives here watches it every time it's on. Hey, I told you to watch educational programs. The Garfield Show is educational, Mom. I'm learning how to eat lasagna and sleep all day. Right, all right. We're speaking with the noted inventor and mad scientist, Professor Thaddeus Bonkers. Professor Bonkers, is it true you've invented a time machine? Oh, that is correct. How long did it take you? The rest of my life. I actually finished it 47 years from now. But then when I was done, I jumped into my time machine and came back here to today in it. Oh. So in your time machine, someone can actually travel into the past. Indeed. But they have to be very careful. Anything you do when you are back in time could affect the future. Wow. What would you do if you had a time machine, Harry? I think I'd go back in time about two minutes and not eat this sandwich. Well, I know what I'd do. <laughs> and what I'm gonna do. <laughs> a slight change of history, and this show will be mine. <laughs> So, you need to be very careful about altering the past. This is boring. I'm gonna watch the Garfield show. Garfield? You can't just lay around the house all day sleeping. John's right. I'll lay around the backyard all day sleeping. <laughs> you are to guard my time machine with your life. It is priceless. It took me the rest of my life to build it. Yeah, you can count on me, Professor. This thing. Traveling through time for dummies. <laughs> Just what I need. To start, press red button. <laughs> well, doy. How to stop? How to stop? How to stop? Oh, it's gotta be near somewhere. Duh, duh. Selecting a date or event to visit. Awesome! <laughs> I'm setting it for the day John first 
found Garfield at the pet store. <laughs> wow, I made it. That's the store. So how do you get someone to adapt you? Just look adorable, and then someone will want to take you home. Well, that doesn't sound so hard. It helps if the human isn't too bright. Hey! Oh, he should be a cinch. Uh, but don't look too eager. It makes them think no one else wants you. Good idea. I'll play hard to get. <laughs> May I help you, sir? Uh, yes. I've been thinking I might like to adopt a cat. Take me, oh, take me home with you. Please, please, please. I'll be your loyal cat. Oh, meow, meow, meow. Pick me. Wow. Uh, maybe I'll take this one. That's how John adopted Garfield. On the way home, I'll stop off at the market and buy some cat food. Actually, we've noticed that he rather likes lasagna. Lasagna? Meow, meow. Okay, lasagna. <laughs> You are kind of cute. You're not so bad yourself, Bella. I think we're going to be good. <gasps> meow. 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 Huh? Huh? <laughs> ah! What about me? Taking me home and feeding me lasagna and making me your cat and feeding me. And lasagna. you're going to love it at my place. I'll fix you up a bed and feed you whatever you like. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. I feel like the entire universe just shifted a little. Oh well, time for my 315 pre dinner appetizer booster snack. Gee, John's not keeping the kitchen as well stocked as he usually does. It's every pet for himself at dinner, Odie. There's barely enough food in the house for me. What? An intruder? Where? You mean me? How could I be an intruder? What do you mean you never saw me before in your life? I'm Garfield. I live in this house, remember? See my picture right over here on... <gasps> Normal. What is Normal doing in my picture frame? <laughs> Squeak, tell Odie who I am. Strange cat in the house. Alarm, alarm. Squeak, it's me, Garfield. You're a cat. A cat eat mice. Oh, except for my friend Normal. Normal? What's wrong, Odie? Huh? Hey, how'd that cat get in here? That cat? John, oh, don't you remember me? The cat who sleeps all day, who eats lasagna, who's been with you since... When did Jim start the newspaper strip? 1978. Since 1978? I don't know who you are, but there's only room for one cat in this house. My beloved pet, Normal. <gasps> Normal? Your pet? What happened? Why do I no longer exist? Woody doesn't know me. Squeak doesn't know me. Even John doesn't know me. This couldn't be any worse. Lorraine, what? are you watching the normal show again? The normal show? It's just starting, Mom. <laughs> no. That's my show. That's my opening and my theme song. Those people with the funny names in the credits, they work for me. Me. Lorraine, I told you to watch something educational. The normal show is educational, Mom. I'm learning how to be the most oh. adorable creature on the planet. <laughs> my show. He <laughs> my, my show. My life. My show. I'm surprised I still have my stripes. Hi, Garfield. Oh, hi, Normal. Normal, what have you done? Done? About what? Why do you suddenly have my life and my show? Oh, that. <laughs> no big deal. 
I just borrowed a time machine, went back in time, and got John to adopt me instead of you. <laughs> See you later, Garfield. <gasps> oh, so that's how he did it. Hmm. Time machine? How am I going to undo this? How am I going to get my life back? Professor Bonkers, is it true you've invented a time machine? Yes, uh, two of them, in fact. Someone stole the first one, they left it in a no-parking zone in the past, and it was towed. The police have no idea what it is, so I had to build another one. I have to get that time machine and undo what Nermal did. And you're going to love it at my place. I'll fix you up a bed and feed you. No, stop! You're making a terrible mistake. You don't want that cat. He's obnoxious. He's annoying. He's, he's, he's normal. What is it, cat? Are you telling me I shouldn't adopt this one? Yes, yes. Take the little cute one who eats lasagna. He's the one you really want. Don't do this. Please. Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a pretty good life Garfield has. Or rather, had. <laughs> I'm starting to really enjoy it. <laughs> Nermo, what are you doing here? I live here. Not anymore. I went back in time and convinced John not to adopt you. What? That's right, Garfield. How dare you do to me what I did to you? Come with me. Let's see how things are now in the Arbuckle household. You're such a wonderful pet, Odie. I'm so glad I decided never to get a cat. Never, never to, to get, get a, a cat. cat? Shall we watch our favorite TV show? Hey. Okay, here it comes. The Odie Show! Don't worry, folks. We'll go back and get this straightened out before the next episode of The Garfield Show. Or The Normal Show. Or whatever the show is. <laughs> <laughs>